The area which White Creek is now a part of was a wilderness up until a few years before the French and Indian Wars. The Hoosick Patent was granted June 3rd, 1638 by Governor Thomas Dungan to Maria Van Rensselaer of Albany, Hendrik Van Ness of Albany, Garrett Tunis Van Vecken of Catskill, and Jacobus Van Cortland of New York. This patent covered between 65,000 and 70,000 acres and covered two miles to each side of the river from Scaticoke east to Nakakwikwak, wherever that is, well into present-day Massachusetts. There seems to have been little settlement of this patent before the 1740s. A few Dutch settlers along the riverfront and some Mohicans were the sole occupants. The Mohicans seem to have had a village near the junction of the Hoosick and the Alkill where the Moses family has a vegetable farm for many years now. Besides many mentions of it in historical records, lots of artifacts have turned up in the fields there. Any residents prior to 1746 were driven out by a French and Indian raid in August of that year, and it is not known how many there were or who they were. The Loomsack patent to the north and east was issued in 1739 but no known attempts to resettle the area seem to have been made until after 1761. There is a story that a Mohican sackum called the Owl dwelt at the village near the end of the Elk Hill in the summer, summer times, and that he went with other leaders of the Mohican and Haudenosaunee to England to meet with Queen Anne in 1710. There is indeed a record of such leaders and that one died on the voyage over, but the one who died is not named. The earliest settlers all settled along the rivers and streams, which were the highways of America before the roads were built. The Dutch worked their way up the Hudson, and from there up the Hoosick. The earliest record I find of the Owl Kill is on a 1754 survey of the Hoosick Patent, where it is labeled Owl Creek. Kill is the Dutch word for brook or creek, and they settled this area, so it almost certainly was called the Owl Kill, U-I-L being the Dutch word for owl, which also sounds similar. The Mohican word for owl is Mikokasansan. In the book, The Owl Sacred Pack of the Fox Indians by Truman Michelson, you see the religious ceremonies and where the idea of the owl might well have come from. Once the Mohicans had gone, they finally ended up in Wisconsin in 1834, where they reside today. The area was settled by English and then Scots-Irish, the English settling north from the original Dutch settlements along the river, and the Scotch-Irish north of them. This division of White Creek held up well into the 20th century, and the three groups often did not get along well. The early Elk Hill Valley was noted as being lined with rows of old-growth trees, so thick it took two and sometimes three men to link arms around them. Today it is filled mostly with small trees and scrub brush. The Alkill was soon perceived as a good stream for mills. Two were built near the mouth, a grist mill which later became the herd mill, grinding feed and also producing red paint from red slate down from Granville by rail. Upstream of that mill, before the Alkill runs under Route 67, was a sawmill of which no traces seemed to remain. In Cambridge was another grist mill. More mills were built on its many tributaries. Today, most locals know the Owl Kill exists, and most cross over it from time to time, but few pay it much mind or use it for anything, except those who happen to live on its banks. This video explores Owl Kill, of leaving off its many tributaries. We will travel from its mouth in the Hoosick River to its headwater, Lake Lauderdale, up in Jackson. We start our tour turning left out of Eagle Bridge Road, onto Route 67 East by the post office. We travel east three-tenths of a mile and start to cross the Hoosick River on the Eagle Bridge into White Creek, Washington County, New York. Looking upstream, you can see a railroad bridge in the distance. 
About halfway to that, you can see the spot where the owl kill empties into the hoosick. A close-up of the spot shows it better. Just beyond the bridge, we turn right onto what was the original road. It parallels the owl kill for a short distance before coming out onto Route 67 again. Off to the right somewhere in here was the herd mill. Down through the trees to the right here you can see the owl kill flowing down into what used to be the herd mill pond. Off to the right here somewhere is where the sawmill used to be, but there doesn't seem to be any trace of that left these days. We cross Route 67 here and turn left onto Turnpike Road to head north. Soon we come to North Old State Road and turn right onto that. Here we come to the North State Road crossing of the Owl Kill, and we have two photos, one taken upstream and one taken downstream. From the end of Old North State Road, we turn left and go north on Route 22. Eight-tenths of a mile up Route 22, we turn left onto Center Road.
about three tenths of a mile up Center Road, we come to the Center Road crossing of the Owl Kill. At the end of Center Road, we turn right on Turnpike Road and head north again. After traveling a mile north on Turnpike Road, we turn right onto Jody Road. Following Jody Road East, we cross a tributary of the Owl Kill at six tenths of a mile and turn right on Owl Kill Road at another tenth of a mile. Between the last two crossings there's a fair amount of country with at least two tributaries feeding into the Owl Kill but it isn't accessible by road so we kind of skipped over it. Now we'll proceed a little further on Owl Kill Road and turn left on Route 22 and head north again. From Owl Kill Road, we drive north about eight tenths of a mile on Route 22 and turn left on Barnell Corners Road. Here are another two photos of the Owl Kill at the Brownell Corners Road Crossing.
At the end of Brownell Corners Road, we turn right onto Turnpike Road and go north almost a mile and then turn right on White Creek Shunpike Road. And here are two more photos from where White Creek Shunpike Road crosses the Owl Kill. At the end of this road, we turn immediately left onto Route 22 and then immediately left onto County Route 71. About 1,200 feet down County Route 71, we come to the bridge where it crosses the Owl Kill. At the end of County Route 71, we turn right on Turnpike Road and go north into Cambridge. Keep right on South Union Street until we come to Main Street. Turning right in West Main, we go down a little ways until we see a bridge, and this is again the Owl Kill.
leaving the West Main Street crossing, we go a little farther and turn left on St. Luke's Place, take that north till we come to Spring Street, turn left and we're right back at the Owl Kill again. Leaving this spot, we take a right on North Union Street and follow that till we come to Cemetery Avenue, take a right, go out to Route 22 where we take a left. We now leave the town of White Creek and enter the town of Jackson. We take Route 22 north for about 8 tenths of a mile, turn right on Ligris Road, and take that until we come back to the Elko again. The Owl Kiln here has almost no flow, which is surprising considering the amount there is below and above this point. The wetlands up above here must be absorbing most of it at present. At the end of Ligris Road, we turn left on Plains Road and drive north past the airport to County Route 64.
We then continue west to Route 22 and turn right, driving about 7 tenths of a mile north to McMillan Road, where we turn right again and follow that for 960 feet to the Owl Kill again. Here we have to turn around and return to Route 22, turning right again, and going 1.2 miles north to Lake Lauderdale Park. The road into the park crosses the Alkill about 700 feet in. This is where the Owl Kill leaves its headwaters of Lake Lauderdale, formerly called Bong Pan before the mid to late 19th century. Lauderdale is the head of the Owl Kill and the end of our journey. I took a quick run further upstream to get a photo of the lake. 